Right, if the first three shots of this video were boring, then people would click out, you know. So can you have explosions in the video? Yes, yeah, we need to redo the, the intro. One, two, three, go. Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Coffee Break where we talk about anything. And for this video, we're going to talk about how everything is now transitioning into the internet, online. I have Nate Ponzalan here, a YouTube creator who just got his 50,000 subscribers today, today, today while we treat today. this wow. F1 year anniversary on YouTube. Yeah, Congrats, same day. Yeah, same Thank, day. You. Thank you. And we have David Marquez, two-time CTO of startup companies, which are um, Shirtly and Expands. So, kayo, paano nyo, why do you do what you do? What? Wait, malet. Why do you want to see? Why do you do what you do? So yeah, I'll start. Um, I'm a pro programmer, a CTO programmer. So I build. I like building solutions for people, and I ended up um, in the startup industry. So for the viewers, ano nga ba ng CTO and ano ginagawa ng Shirley and Expands? Okay. So you have a CEO. The CEO is the one who takes care of everything. But the CTO is in charge of the product. Usually for a startup, it's an app, it's a website, and he's the one in charge of making sure that all of the features you have are working and you keep adding features um, as you go. And Shirtly is a business for people who want to sell shirts online and they, don't, they have no experience. We're a platform that helps them ship their shirts online and sell. And Expanse is another one for businesses who have a difficulty shipping online. So we do automated shipping for them and that's what I've been working on for the past six months. So Nate, one year anniversary, yeah. so why did you uh, decide to go on YouTube and create? It's funny, like for my one year anniversary, I made, I just made like a video, I shot a video this morning. I'm wearing the same thing in the video, you can go check it out if you want to. Um, explaining the story, so if you had asked me two years ago whether I wanted to be a YouTuber, I would have given you a hard no. Mm -hmm. like, um, I wanted to be behind the scenes, I wanted to be a graphic designer or a photographer. But then suddenly I started making Snapchat stories. Hello, hello, hello! It's Nathan! I was just drawing and um, eating some beef steak. I just became mahalet and energetic. And you know, you'd, you'd go through the grocery stores and you'd make puns out of the different products. So, I don't know, I, I was being weird. But then I really enjoyed it. And apparently, people would laugh, so I, I was funny by that. And then I started, you know, um, doing that on YouTube because I liked it. And eventually, it became a full-time thing. And I'm actually transitioning more like out of the comedy, being funny, thing to the more inspirational thing, but making videos nonetheless. So, where do you think for most of you, everything now is going online? Uh, you have. You create creative content from typical TV and we have Netflix, Amazon. Uh, from your businesses, everything is going online instead of going to retailers or online shops now. Why do you think people are choosing online? I think it's efficiency. Like, mm -hmm. I think the human race is just built to value efficiency and just make things faster, make things more convenient. And the internet when you look at it big picture-wise, it's a huge step in that direction. Um, you don't need to go to the grocery anymore to get your to get the groceries. You can just, you know, on your phone, it'll be delivered to your doorstep. You don't need to go to a store to rent a movie. You can just Netflix it. And the internet just is a huge way, even for not just consumers, but for creators, even for people like me. Like, I, if I wanted to be a filmmaker, I would have had to go to film school and you know pitch my idea to Hollywood or something back then. But now I can just whatever idea I have, I can put it online for almost no cost, and it might even go viral. So they would tell about kahit sa mga businesses, it's cheaper to go online than the traditional route. So much cheaper. So my business partner, he was telling me about how the rent of a one stall is very, very high. And for a lot of businesses, you have many stalls. So when you have an online store, you have to pay for one website every year, and then the orders just keep coming in. So it's almost like a thousand times the difference in cost alone. I was reading this tweet, 10 years in the future, the mom goes, Anak, bili ka ng sibuyas sa, sa palengke, tapos sabi ng anak, sige, check ko muna sa Lazada kung may discount. <laughs> 
It's really becoming yeah, a. Yeah, yeah. It's true. It, it's true. it used to be just a thing in the states that I would watch on YouTube and see on the internet. Na parang, oh, these people can just order stuff online, gan. But now it's becoming really good for the film. Miss kasi YouTube kasi so kung you like what you do, you create videos, you have uh, your vlogs. Di ba mahirap na to do videos kasi marami nang gumagawa. So what? Uh, yeah. I I guess if the problem on actually it's probably the same way. Um, it's com- it, because it's so accessible, mm-hmm. there's so much competition. And the barrier to entry is really, really low. There you go, yeah. The barrier to entry is really, really low. And because of that, there's just so many other, you know, channels out there, so many other businesses out there. If you want to start an Instagram business, you're you're up against, you know, a, a big ocean, you know. And I guess the other thing is beyond competition, there's just so many social networks now and so many ways that people can just grab a picture of you and post it online. Um, it's actually the same when it comes to content and business. It's all about... So it's easy to start. The barrier yeah. to entry is really low. You can have an Instagram store, you can start it online, you can have a YouTube channel, you can post a couple of videos and you're up, you have your life. But the difference is, because there's so many, you have to find your audience. You have to find the people who are actually into your product, into what, what you do. And uh, actually Nate is really good on this because he found his audience online. And that's why you can celebrate his 50,000 subscribers. Um, but he found people who were interested in what he does. So I advise you for that. Yeah, I, I think the good thing about the internet uh, is that so now there are so many creators. But there are also now so many consumers. Um, like so many people are using the internet more than the people that used to go to movie rental stores before. And because of that, be- because of just the huge population of consumers, it's easy to zoom into a niche and find a small group of people that might like your content. And that will be a sustainable crowd. So true or false, in terms of competition, whenever you have a business online or you have content online, does it mean whenever they watch your videos, you have to take away airtime, quote-unquote airtime from other creators? You, who you really are as a brand or as a business or uh, as a channel, it shines. So those who are really good, inherently good, like someone worth following, someone worth you know, um, purchasing from. That's when, that's why you ascribe to people like Nike because they've sold themselves to be excellent in what they do. The designs are great, um, and people buy into that. So that's where it shines. But if you're on the lower end of the spectrum, where you're just creating content that's subpar, not actually, not excellent, people will notice that, and you you kind of, it is very mediocre. mediocre. Yeah, mediocre. Like it's very, people want. The two channels, right? In, yeah, 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 right away. So. In terms of like, Kunyari, both same excellence. Yeah. You don't have to choose between one or the other because of this concept called the on-demand economy, mm-hmm. which is basically nowadays all these different products, especially sold on the internet or sold through the internet, it's m- made to meet your needs whenever you need them, and that's what the on-demand economy is. A lot of content is becoming short-form content. Like my videos now rarely reach past 10 minutes. And it compared to a program that's 30 minutes, 45, in one hour, um, you won't take as much air. Like parang just watch my video for five minutes and then do whatever you want after that. So I'm just thinking of future of business and future of content creation. So you mentioned 10 minutes maximum is all you have. So you have so does it affect the depth of uh, kind of shows? Yeah, for sure. Same from 30 minute shows to 10 minute videos. Yeah, things are becoming way faster. It's because of the human race's need for greater efficiency that we came up with the internet. And because of that need for efficiency, as a result, the attention spans of people are, are also getting shorter. Sure, sure. Um, just like three seconds, you know, you gotta capture someone's attention in three to six seconds, depending on what study. Because these things are always happening, the technology has come so mm. far, so quickly, um, you gotta be able to adapt. Like, what Nathan's doing in his YouTube channel will not be applicable in the next three, four, yeah. five years. For what we're doing in business, it's not gonna be applicable in the next five, six, seven years. So you just gotta be on your toes, you gotta ride the wave every time it comes. And for now, like, this is what you see. Um, this is what you're doing is 
watching the trends and what, what, what are people doing? Does it apply to us? Does it not? And is this something that's a trend or is this something that sticks? Sticks yeah. around. So in five years, we will be in a time to as a designer. Awesome. Discount 50%. Yeah. So, yeah, advice here to people who are just planning to I'm still going on a business online or I want to create videos online. How do they start? How do they get their consumers, their market, their audience? Bus businesses are different from YouTube channels in the sense that, you know, if if you want to just make videos, go ahead and make videos. Like, you, you don't have to have a fancy camera, you don't have to have a whole inventory of products, you know. You just have an idea and you have a phone and you shoot the video and post it. If you don't love creating for the sake of creating, then you're not gonna last in the long run. If you're doing it for other people, if you're doing it for money, then creating is really just a means for something that you really want. Then. But if you make that creation the end in itself, you're gonna love doing it. And that's when everything else is gonna come. So just get started. Just get your first customer out there. If you wanna start with a Facebook store or an Instagram store, make it look nice, you have the tools available to you, you have um, you have Instagram to help you post and you have a couple of apps that can help you edit the picture. Um, take a nice photo, learn how to flat lay, go to YouTube, watch yeah. stuff, play, watch watch these things. And these are all free, you don't have to go to school to it, you don't have to um, learn from books, you don't have to read books. Just take 10, time, 10 minutes a day and stuff and just learn. And from there, if you need to create a website, go ahead. If you don't really have to, because people just buy it. Just get started. Man. I think on both ends, no? just make something excellent, you know, make something beautiful, make something uh, maybe out of the ordinary, but make sure it stands out, you know, and people are going to see it. It's going to take time. Uh, one of my idols, Gary Vaynerchuk, he always says that. Gary Yeah, it's <laughs> Gary V. The other Gary V. The other Gary V. He, he says that everything takes longer than you think it will. And we just need a little patience, you know, just keep doing it excellently, keep doing it passionately, the way that you want to do it. And if you know that it's good, you have no doubts that this is awesome and nobody else is latching on to it, but wait a little more. It's gonna catch on. Any final thoughts? Maybe one last. Like the, there's a quote that says that the, best, the first best time to start was yesterday, and the second best time is to start now. So after watching this, you should, whatever it is you want to do, whatever content or business, Take some time, take a couple of minutes right now, like after this, and work your way. Like, move one step, check one thing out of your to do list, and move towards it and get started. That's cool. I like that. So, there you have it. Thank you for watching another episode of Coffee Break. If you like what you're watching, don't forget to subscribe. If you want us to talk about different topics, just comment below and share our video. And what's the bell button? Yeah. <laughs> Help me, Nate. No, no, no. Because there's this button, right? It's, it's shaped like a bell. It's down there beside the subscribe button. If you tap it, every single video, amazing, awesome coffee break yeah. video that comes right. out, you're gonna know when it comes out. So click that. Go button. hit that bell button. Yeah. Thank you to the YouTuber for helping me out. Thank you for David <laughs> for taking time. And see you soon. See you soon.